You guys really seem to enjoy the first studio tour we shot. So today I'm here with my boy Taj, aka Bisla Cuts. And this guy's got a dope setup, dope studio. So he's just gonna run through everything. What up everybody, welcome to my studio. I'm gonna be showing you the clippers I use, my setup, um, everything from the ins and outs of barbering. Um, as you guys saw his video, I'm gonna try to replicate it, do as best as I can. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. We're starting off, first thing you guys see when you guys come into my studio is a coat hanger. Everyone leaves their coats here because they forget them. Uh, this is where that happens. Uh, moving on, I've got my ring lights, about three of them. Uh, one here, one there, and one stands is usually that corner. Uh, sounds very important when you're cutting here because playing good music, everyone loves that. Mm -hmm. And I've got my, my mini fridge for drinks and stuff. Uh, moving on, I've got my mirror, a uh, little mat I made for myself, and then my logo. This was actually made by a friend of mine. Uh, coming along this way, I've got the main part of the studio is my chest. Uh, all my clippers, my tools, my shears, my aftershave, everything is here. Um, so yeah, let's go through this. My barber tool chest now. Uh, we'll go from left to right. We're starting off with the razor blade disposable case. All the used up razor blades go in there. I've got some talc powder for after the cuts. I've got my Andes Cool Care, Oster Blade Wash, and my barber side, which is almost done. Oh, fuck. Um, everyone knows just how Sidhu mentioned in, that, in his last video that um, it's pretty nasty if you're getting the same the same brush on your chair and on yourself. So this one I use to clean off the chair and this one I use on my client's heads. Respect. Um, and then I've got my bronze series nine, the shaver. I've got the charging dock right here. I've got some some really good hair products that I recommend, some curling cream, Layrite products, and some texturizing powder. Over here I've got my disinfectant jar that's full of barber's head and water. Uh, my client's favorite and least favorite part of the haircut is this. Everyone knows when this gets pulled out, no matter how big of a gangster you are, after this you're done. Um, so this is just aftershave. Um, it's just a normal aftershave that I grabbed from a local store here. And then I've got my spray bottle. This is full of water. In the first drawer here, I've just got my guards. I like to keep my guards that I use the most right at the, right at the front because I just quickly grab one and I put it back. These I don't use as much. I've got my hair grips. They're very important when I'm doing lineups. And I've got my clipper, I'm uh, sorry, my hair grips uh, when I'm trying to part the hair. Uh, in the next drawer, I've got all my combs. Uh, so my wide tooth combs and then my clipper over combs, clipper over comb combs, and then my favorite comb, which is this. It's like a luxury kind of comb. Type I got the same guess. one, yeah, except different favorite. color. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, cool. I've also got my shears and uh, I've got two sets of those. In this drawer, nothing hectic. It's just my razor blade and my my straight razor and the blades. Uh, this is the brush I like to use when brushing off on client's face because it's very, very soft instead of using the one I use for the fade. And then nothing in this store, just some neck strips. Now for the most important part, is my clipper drawer. Uh, I start off every cut by balding, balding out using this as my magic clip conversion. I have a, a balding blade on this. Um, and then I use my wall magic clips and my Babyliss Gold FX for my fading. Uh, my favorite trimmer I've used so far is this, the Babyliss Gold FX trimmer. And I've got my Slimline Pros for around the ear or tapers and stuff like that. Uh, this is the shaver I use, is the Bronze Series 9. Uh, super close and super, super good at cutting through bulk. I've got my two fading combs, my fading brushes, um, as well as my clipper brush. I don't use the same brush on my clippers that I use on my clients' uh, heads because, I don't know, I just don't, I think it's kind of gross. Thanks. So that's that, and I've got some mini brushes here just to clean off. Also, this is very important. You know, when you're cutting hair, sometimes the, the blade will get loose, so you gotta tighten that up. So this is very important to have. Okay, starting off here, I just display all the cases of my clippers. So I've got the gold FX, um, I've got the magic clips, the and the shaver one. These ones are the ones that I don't have anymore. Um, if you watch the last video, you'll find out why. It's a really crazy story, so go check that video out. Mark. Uh, we've got the Bronze Series 9. As you can see, I've got almost two of everything. Um, and there's a reason to that, but I won't share that in this video. Um, other little things that I just keep around the shop. I've got this really cool apron that one of my really good friends got for me. Um, it, it's got my logo on it. I keep some clips in there. People hate it when I come and have hair all over my clothing. So I recommend if you're a barber to get this. And with COVID, I've got my masks up here. So 
Was the brown one your favorite shaver? Yeah, it's my favorite shaver. I used the Babless one. Yeah. I wish I had it because that one cuts really, really close. Yeah, right? But the way the brown, like, it, it literally is a fucking longboard, dude. You put like a one guard on? Yeah. So yeah, no, it, it eats through here. Yeah, it eats. I, um, every time I slick it back, yeah. um, right over when I pop out of the shower, I'll like slick it back as much as I can so it stays a little bit straighter. Yeah. But if I want it curly, I'll kind of just leave it alone. Yeah. And it just does its thing. It just curls out loud. You ever throw any of that Cantu in there? Uh, no, because I like, when when I have the Cantu in there, yeah. every time the Cantu, like my hair is usually damp when I throw the Cantu in there. Yeah. So when the hair dries up. Is that what it's supposed to do? Like your hair is supposed to be like a little bit damp, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, that's just how I use it. Uh -huh. But yeah, um, when it dries up, I feel like the Cantu product, like it makes my hair wavy. Oh. But if I leave no product in there, yeah, the curls dry up as curls. Okay, okay, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you don't really need it, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. I'd rather have the more natural look. And I'm bringing it back around the head because this is where the taper, the back taper, is gonna fall into. So how you want the skin line? Uh, whatever you think looks nice. Yeah, cool. So okay. we're like keeping more of a slick back look, and the two guideline comes around here. I'm gonna bring the bottom line around here, making sure I get all the light spots out at the same time. All right. I just feel like sometimes it, with the tapers, it's easier to like just get the bottom line out instead of fighting with it throughout the whole haircut. Uh, but like for this one, like. Your the skin guideline I made was like pretty, pretty straight. Yeah. But with this, like no guard, all the way closed. Yeah. I'm like curving it a little bit, just yeah. so it gives a little bit more of that taper illusion. Yeah. Like the burst illusion type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh, what were they called? Does he have an IG page? Yeah, but like I don't even know if he does. Like try gaming him. Yeah. It's called Hearts of Men. Hearts of Men. But that's a good name. Yeah. Men, beards, hearts. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 48 won, bro. Let's no go. Way. Yo, Let's dude, he, he, he won properly, too. Ah. <laughs>